Well, I'm back with another episode of Chrono Series. I had intended to make this series um, about a lot of different things, and so far, uh, this is the third episode, and it's still about Gene Pool. Um, that's okay, though, because uh, I will get to other things. But uh, Mr. Cheeky Monkey is back, made um, another interesting video about Gene Pool, and it inspired an experiment. So I've went ahead and done the experiment and uh, I'm recording this uh, introduction after the fact. And I want to switch over to his video just to give you a look. This is uh, the video. It's labeled Quick Update Swimbots Looking More Like Carrots. And let's see, can I speed this up? Sure. So there's his little uh, quick video showing how his carrot swim bots get greedy, eat up all the food, and uh, start to go into mass extinction. Any rate, at the very end of the video, he mentions saving two swim bots to the description and there are the two that he mentions are going to be in the description so now if I scroll down there is the actual uh, code for those two swim bots and that should be enough of the introduction I'll go ahead and show you the experiment that I did with those two swim bots Okay, I'm starting with an empty pool, and I'm going to bring in the uh, template swim bots from uh, Mr. Cheeky Monkey is Back's recent video. Um, I've actually made a template out of the two swim bots by highlighting their differences. Uh, you can see it here in Notepad with um, underscores replacing the digits in the genes that were different between the two of them. What I plan to do with that is to replace all of those underscores with digits like this. So there's the first replacement and then save that and load a swim bot number three is the one I saved it as and I'm just going to take that and place it up here out of the way and I've got a total of 16 swim bots to load up that way I'm not going to uh, show doing all of that on the video because it would take up a lot of time um, so off I go Okay, so far that's 000, 000, 004, 045, 047, 086, and 089, and moving on with 093. And this one is 101. And 124. And 128.
and 129. And 134. And 143. One fifty one two oh eight and two eighteen. Now to resume time and See how these things interact with each other. I want to go ahead and save the gene pool just in case. And let's have a quick look at the population graph. Uh, so far, it's showing 24 swim bots, oh, 25 swim bots, and 805 food bits. So I'll leave that go for a while and come back and check on it later. Okay, I'm back for the moment. Um, I had stopped the recording and I started it back up again because I was thinking to myself I could show little highlights from this. So I'm just going to kind of uh, leave it recording and edit out the bulk of it. I do want to show the population graph where it's at right now. And there you can see uh, 524 swim bots and 43 food bits so the food is almost completely gone it should be interesting to see uh, how they recover from that they've eaten all their food up hopefully something will survive very efficient mode of transportation they've got going there but there's not much food around so it isn't doing them a lot of good and this appears to be a single segment swim bot that somehow has managed to reproduce itself enough times or well reproduce with the help of others I'm sure um, enough times that it occasionally shows up as the most prolific
I suppose I could see if I can find a way to time lapse any of this. So um, if there's been time lapse playing and um, suddenly it breaks into me mentioning this, well, that's because it was an afterthought. Well, it looks like the swim bots have been busy. Population is pretty stable. 146 swim bots, 124 food bits. Leave it run a while longer. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there's one that looks a lot like the original carrot one from Mr. Cheeky Monkey is Back. It's moving a lot more slowly. That might be because maybe it's starving. It's checking. No, no, it's got 34 energy units left. I guess this is just a slow swim bot. Maybe because it doesn't see any food to go running after. But you can get an interesting look at the mode of transportation it's using. It's almost like it's just carving its way through the water. As if as if the water was almost solid in some sense. Well, the the, the liquid that it's in, whatever that liquid is supposed to be, I mean, technically it's not really water. Um, could be. It's a simulation of some sort of aquatic fluid environment, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and extract some swim bots from this to uh, put in the um, description in the uh, about section and uh, edit this video and go ahead and publish it and uh, if anybody wants to see which ones which ones I saved um, I would recommend you get a hold of a copy of uh, Gene Pool.
from swimbots.com and um, figure out how to edit your own swimbot files and paste in the information that I put in the description of this video. Thanks.